Hey, welcome back to The Revolution and a brand new WWE 2K24 video powered by 2K UK and WWE Games. Last month, WWE and 2K unveiled the official cover stars for this year's game with Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley joining fan favourite Cody Rhodes as this year's 2K cover stars. Not only does the deluxe edition of WWE 2K24 look absolutely stunning with Bianca and Rhea's signature purple and hot pink colour swatches, but the cover also makes history as the first ever WWE video game cover to only feature female superstars. If that wasn't iconic enough, the deluxe edition of WWE 2K24 also marks the first time a woman of colour has ever appeared on a WWE 2K cover with Bianca Belair paving the way for future women. So with WWE 2K24 set to hit shelves in just a few short weeks, we thought why not take a trip down memory lane and see what led to this very moment and just how special and groundbreaking the deluxe edition really is. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K24 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com for all the latest women's wrestling news and so much more. Throughout the decades in WWE, there have been many duos who have risen through the ranks alongside friends and foes, paving the way and becoming the legends we all know and love. For some lucky few, some WWE superstars' legacies are intertwined almost as if some universal WWE force was drawing them together since the very beginning, leading to some of the most iconic partnerships and feuds in WWE history. Decades after their feud, to this day people still talk about the history between The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin and how they created lightning in a bottle with their chemistry both in and out of the ring. Brett the Hitman Hart will forever leave a legacy which sees him aligned with the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels, Hulk Hogan and Macho Man Randy Savage, once the ultimate duo in WWE before an almighty clash of the mega powers. Whether their friend or foe, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair will forever leave a legacy as two of the very best to battle it out, or buddy up. And how can you forget the iconic rivals turned best friends, turned rivals again, Trish Stratus and Lita. In the early days, nobody would have ever guessed that these superstars would be so intrinsically tied to one another, but week by week and year by year, those superstars became ever connected thanks to their similarities and sometimes even their differences, almost as if things had been in motion since the very beginning. Back in 2017, WWE held its very first May in Classic Tournament with 32 female superstars from around the globe competing in the historic tournament featuring various WWE 2K24 superstars such as Candice LeRae, Dakota Kai, Shayna Baszler and Zia Lee, just to name a few. Among the 32 female superstars were fresh-faced versions of Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley, which are both available to play thanks to this year's WWE 2K24 Deluxe Edition. The Deluxe Edition features two rookie versions of Belair and Ripley from this period in their career, with Rhea especially looking completely different thanks to those long blonde locks. The May Young Classic would also see WWE official Jessica Carr make history as the first full-time WWE female official, with Carr also making history in WWE 2K24 as one of the first ever on-screen female WWE officials to ever appear in a WWE video game alongside Arja Smith. Both Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair would compete in the May Young Classic tournament, with both Belair and Ripley picking up a win in the first round only to fall short in the second round against their opponents. Had both women succeeded in their second round, they would have faced off against each other for the very first time in the quarterfinals, but history wasn't ready for them just yet. Several years following the May Young Classic, both Belair and Ripley would continuously grind through NXT and NXT UK, honing their skills and becoming the evolved versions of the superstars we have come to know and love them as today. Belair continued to live and breathe her EST motto, gaining the love and support of the WWE Universe as well as a championship reign or two along the way. Rhea Ripley on the other hand ditched everything that previously defined her, leaving behind her girl next door attitude and appearance, giving in to the dark side and eventually forming the Judgment Day. 
Since joining the main roster, both women have had success in their own way, capturing championship gold and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the very best WWE has to offer. Back in 2018, Ripley and Belair would face off in an epic War Games match, which saw Team Ripley get the win. However, several years later, it would be Belair who would get the last laugh, with Rhea's team losing to Team Belair at Survivor Series. Just when you think one woman would get the one up, the other would rise and overtake the other. A win at the Royal Rumble is a dream for many superstars, and both Bianca and Rhea already have a win under their belts, with Bianca winning the 2021 Rumble after eliminating Rhea Ripley, and Rhea winning the 2023 Royal Rumble, both cementing their place in not only Royal Rumble history, but WrestleMania history too. Royal Rumble is the first stop on the road to WrestleMania, and 2023 would see both Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley in two high-stakes matches for WWE Championship Gold. Night 1 of WrestleMania would see Rhea Ripley take on the Queen Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Championship, with Rhea Ripley dethroning the Queen on the showcase of the Immortals. Night 2 would also see Bianca Belair leave with Championship Gold as she defended the Raw Women's Championship against the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Both of these matches can be played in this year's Showcase of the Immortal Showcase, celebrating 40 years of WrestleMania. WrestleMania 39 would see Rhea Ripley become a Grand Slam champion, with Bianca cementing history of her own with an undefeated streak at WrestleMania, following in the footsteps of The Undertaker. Although they have yet to face off against each other at WrestleMania, both women are interestingly still tied together with a compelling two-year recurring theme between them. At WrestleMania 37, Rhea Ripley faced off against Asuka, with Bianca Belair then facing off against Asuka at WrestleMania 39. Back at WrestleMania 38, Bianca Belair faced off against the man Becky Lynch, and after an impressive winner elimination chamber this past weekend, Becky has cemented her place in WrestleMania, and she will now go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the mammy at WrestleMania 40. As of yet, Bianca has yet to find an opponent at WrestleMania, but if the two-year pattern is anything to go by, it might be the same opponent Rhea faces at WrestleMania 42. Or who knows, maybe Rhea and Bianca will finally collide, and even maybe feature in a future 50 years of WrestleMania showcase in WWE 2K34. Whether it's making history in the Royal Rumble, making history at WrestleMania, or even making history in the WWE 2K series, Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair will be forever remembered as two of the very best, redefining what it means to be a female superstar in WWE and the WWE 2K series. With so much history between Rhea and Bianca, we want to know your favourite Belair and Rhea Ripley moments and who you think would win if they were to finally collide at WrestleMania. A huge thank you again to 2K UK and WWE Games for sponsoring today's video. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming WWE 2K24 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com for all the latest women's wrestling news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution.